Peace ones, welcome back to Storytime with Ame Yunin and today is Friday, Friday. So I've decided I'm going to read the Dilbert uh, books on Fridays because they make me laugh a lot. Um, today I'm a little bit agitated because my sister just left to go to the ER. She'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share with you guys what I do when I'm a little bit stressed, um, and it's called aromatherapy. Um, my nurse at the mental health hospital, uh, like, would do it a lot, and it helped. So my favorite scent is Citrus Bliss from Detora, and so to do it, you just like sprinkle a little bit of essential oil on your hand and then take three big breaths oh Alicia's here she doesn't like my aromatherapy because it's too strong for her Okay. Oh, she likes eating paper. Leechy, get away from that. Look at her. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Okay, now it's double time. Um, so, let's get it started. Let's see if my idea of using an electric cattle prod will boost employee productivity. <laughs> Zab! <laughs> he ended up getting, that was the boss, and he ended up getting burned. Mental note, hold the rubber end. Ah, really? That was stupid. <laughs> okay. There are two good articles in the paper today. One about magnets and one on sign language. I'd like you to write a white paper on how these items could influence the project you're working on. Do you even know what project I'm working on? <laughs> I don't have time to get into minutia. Let's begin by going around the table and introducing ourselves. I'm Delbert. I've worked for you for five years. Albert, six years. Alice, I've worked for you for ten years. Sally, eight years. <laughs> I knew these people looked familiar. Delbert, I'd like you to meet Ben, our newest fast track manager. Hi. Ben has no real experience, but he's very tall and we know he'll go far. I also have executive style hair. <laughs> we think he will turn silver. Here's something else that's totally unimportant yet requires action. I'll route it to a subordinate, thus inflating its perceived importance and destroying both morale and productivity. What luck! I got two copies! <laughs> I just heard that light travels faster than sound. I'm wondering if I should shout when I speak, just so my lips appear to sync up with my words. A little knowledge can be a ridiculous thing. He probably hasn't heard me yet. <laughs> I just received your employee suggestion. We'll handle it the usual way by making you sit under a wet blanket surrounded by imbeciles. <laughs> At least there's process. Explain your suggestion again. <laughs> I've decided to use humor in the workplace. Experts say humor eases tension, which is important in times when the workforce is being trimmed. Knock knock. Who's there? Not you anymore. <laughs> I'm going to use humor to ease the tension during your annual job performance appraisal. How many engineers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. Well, that's consistent with your appraisal. <laughs> Wait, I'll say three. I'm using humor at work to ease tension and improve our creativity. <laughs> He just like slammed his face on his keyboard. Ha ha ha! Womp. <laughs> the 
loosen him up. What's the story with the costume, Wally? <laughs> He's wearing the clown costume. The boss put me on a special task force to see if humor increases creativity. I have to dress like this for a month. Are you feeling more creative? Yeah, I've already thought of 600 ways to kill him. <laughs> As part of my program to use more humor at work, I'm asking each of you to wear a kick me sign. Oh, check later to see if you're more relaxed and creative. <laughs> later. You seem to be taking advantage of the situation, Alice. <laughs> the, the girl co-worker is kicking everyone, like every guy in their crotch area. Ha! <laughs> Screw man. <laughs> Dilbert, you're being temporarily transferred to the field sales organization. Normally we use these assignments to round somebody out for management, but in this case I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs> you're over communicating again, sir. <laughs> Plus, I hate the manager of sales. <laughs> Good report, but change the word use to utilize in each case. Change help to facilitate and replace do with implementation phase. Hmm, it's a bit too readable. <laughs> I could reduce the type size and run it through the bags. <laughs> I've had enough of those wimpy management techniques like empowerment and quality. Write a better memo or I'll send a strong shock to your head. <laughs> this guy has like a, like a headband and he can actually get shocks. The best part of it is it's all subjective. subjective. And then the boss actually shocks that dude. Okay. <laughs> Before I read your proposal, run it past our legal department. Ugh, that's the end of that. I didn't have to become a corporate lawyer. I could be a trial lawyer or a judge, you know? But I chose to work here at this unglamorous position. Consequently, I have a bad attitude and I'm going to take it out on you. Your proposal does nothing to help my career. And if I approve it and we get sued later, then I'll get in trouble. In a month or so, I'll formally reject your idea with a neatly typed but oddly worded memo. Did he reject your proposal yet? Yeah, and he filed his lawsuit against me. <laughs> okay. I think that's good for today, um, but thanks for coming back and um, say I love you to someone because you don't know how much you can save a life. Okay, bye baby swans. Love you.